Very good morning, dear students. Uh, I welcome all of you to the today's session. And this session we are going to start with the part B, that is Indian economic development. In the first chapter is liberalization, privatization, and globalization. In short form, we can call it as a LPG. Okay. This chapter we are going to discuss in the today's session. Here, before going to discussion of what is LPG, it means what is liberalization, privatization and globalization. First, we need to know the background to adapt this LPG. Background of adapting LPG. We all know that we got independence in the year of 1947 and before that we were under the British ruling but in the 1947 due to some uh, efforts and struggles made by our leaders we got independence but after getting the independence the country adapted mixed economic system which is combining the advantages of both capitalistic as well as socialistic economy. Here we adapted mixed economy. It is a mixed economy is a combination of the advantages of both capitalist economy and socialist economy. Here in under the mixed economy, the government as well as private sector both used to play the uh, dominant role or uh, important role to fulfill the needs of a people in the country. In that sake, but in our country, whatever we adapted with the economy system, but uh, the government was playing a high dominant role than the private sector and it set some rules and regulations uh, in order to control the private sector as well as uh, foreign trade. We were not free to export and import the goods from our outside of the country because we have struggled a lot to get a freedom from the foreigners, uh, the group, uh, especially from the Britishers. Due to that biasness, uh, what happened? The government used to put some restrictions on foreign trade and uh, private people's activity. It means private sector activities were controlled by the government sector and every responsibility only uh, taken by the government. It leaves some crisis or problems in the country. It means that the income sources of the government was low but the expenditures of a government in order to create social welfare as well as, well as economic development, the expenditures of a government was very high but the revenue or income source of the government was very low because of this imbalance between government income and expenditure the country has started facing some severe economic problems like uh, population exposure and low productivity in agriculture and lack of industrialization and inflationary pressure. Inflationary pressure means the demand for goods and services was very high but the production capacity of agriculture and industrial sector was very low. They created imbalance between the demand and supply of goods and the price of goods and services were increasing more than the limit. That's called inflationary pressure. And in the 1980s, the inflationary pressure was goes on increasing and with that started the deficit BOP. BOP means balance of payment, which is a statement which shows the overall value of exports and imports of the country during one year that is called BOP. BOP means balance of payment. It's a statement which shows the value of exports and imports of the country in one particular year. Here deficit BOP means it's nothing but creating the imbalance 
between imports and exports of the country in Balasmit, the exports was very less but imports from the other countries was very high. It means that we are producing the less goods and we are exporting the less goods to our other countries but we are importing, it means we are purchasing more goods from the other countries then we need to pay more amount to other countries but we receive less from the other countries it's created deficit POP it means way that imports are more exports was very less likewise so many problems was created in the country before the liberalization privatization and globalization process and to overcome all these particular economic problems, uh, the government started borrowing, it means taking, taking debt from the other countries of the world and even international institutions like uh, IMF and uh, IBRD. IBRD means we all know that it is famously known as World Bank. World Bank. The, uh, international Bank for Reconstruction and Development or we can also call it as a World Bank. The uh, Indian, Indian government has started uh, borrowing from other countries also. It's also uh, started borrowing from IMF and World Bank. But IMF and World Bank have uh, given the debt up to the 7 billion dollars and it's uh, suggested to the country to adapt some changes in the Indian economic system because we all know that in India they had adapted mixed economy but they are having high role with the government sector and less role with the private sector. They are not giving more freedom to a private people and private sector institutions and as well as foreign trade. They are given more importance only to a government activities. So that all, all the problems are created. That's why the IMF and World Bank are suggested to the country government to make some changes or to adapt some changes in the economic policy of our country. According to that suggestions, uh, the Prime Minister Dr. Narsimha and the Finance Minister uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh have prepared some set of new rules in the economic policy and they are adapted in the 1st July 1991 they adapted the new economic new economic economic policy we have good we went to take some money, uh, financial support from uh, international institutions like IMF and IBRD. They have supported our country with giving five, uh, sorry, sorry, seven million dollars or more. And with that, they have given some suggestions, or they given some set of rules to make some changes in our economic policy. Uh, it means giving the freedom to a private sector to involve in the different activities and uh, liberalizing the foreign trade. It means exporting and importing of goods without any uh, restrictions. Uh, we, uh, like this, they have given some suggestions to add some changes in our economic policy. Based on that suggestions, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister, P.V. Narasimha Rao Narasimha Rao and Finance Minister Finance Minister Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh Manmohan Singh in the economic policy as they have 
July 1991. The set of changes is called as new economic policy. Whatever the changes we have adapted in the economic policy, the changes are nothing but new economic policy. Why we have adapted new economic policy in 1991 means, we, once again I am explaining, we were having we were adapted mixed economy which is the combination of both capitalistic and socialistic economy by the dominant role of government in our country created some economic problems like poverty, unemployment, lack of industrialization, less productivity in agriculture, uh, lack of infrastructural facilities and uh, uh, lack of credit supports to our various sectors and uh, deficit BOP, the inflationary pressure was very high and uh, at the same time the revenue of the government was very low and but the expenditure of the government was very high. So because of all this reason, the government has started the borrowing of money within a country as well as outside of the country. In the same way, when the government have uh, when to borrow some money from IMF and IBRE, financial support they guys, when to take financial support from IMF and IBRE, they have given some uh, suggestions to make some changes in our economic policy to overcome all these particular problems. With the suggestions, the Prime Minister Nursing Law and the Finance Minister Manmohan Singh have adapted new economic policy as the changes in our economic policy in the year of 1991, 1st July. Okay? This is called the background of uh, liberalization, privatization and globalization. Or this is called the background of new economic policy or it can also called as economic reforms. Got it? Then we will move to the discussion of what do you mean by economic, new economic policy or economic reforms. We will discuss the meaning of new economic policy or what do you mean by it is also called it as an economic reforms. What is it means that we will discuss now. I hope you understood the background of the new economic policy or LPG. Now we will discuss Meaning of meaning of new economic policy here L E P refers to new economic policy or we can also call it as economic reforms reforms here meaning of N E P refers to your New economic economic policy policy refers to refers to adapting adapting changes changes in the set of set of economic economic policy since since 1991 this is what new economic policy or economic reforms new economic policy or economic reforms refers to adapting the changes or uh, uh, adding the changes in the set of economic policy since 1991. This all changes whatever we are adapted since 1991 in our set of economic policy that is called as new economic policy or economic reforms. I hope you understood whatever the changes we have adapted in our set of economic policy since 1991 that is nothing but NDP or new economic policy. And 
Here, uh, the new economic policy is understood the meaning, right? Economic reforms are economic, new economic policy are first. Uh, some changes is here. Changes adapted in the set of economic policy since 1991 is nothing but new economic policy. Here, under the new economic policy, whatever the changes we have adapted, the overall changes we can broadly classify into two. The measures are the changes under the new economic policy will be broadly classified into two. NEP, sorry, NEP programs, it means new economic policy programs, broadly classified into, broadly classified into two. In the first one, stabilization, stabilization program. Programs and next point, one more important one is structural structural adjustment adjustment programs programs. These are the two uh, main programs under the new economic policy we have adapted. The first one stabilization program and second one structural adjustment program. Already we have discussed due to our dominant role of government in our country in 1980 era, we have faced a lot of problems in that mainly poverty, population exposure, lack of industrialization, lack of agricultural growth, and lack of infrastructure. With that, the main two uh, severe problems are. Inflationary pressure and uh, deficit view. Your inflation means you all understood that inflation means when the price of all necessary goods are goes on increasing. Price of goods uh, that too mainly the necessary goods and services prices goes on increasing means that is the situation is nothing but inflation. Inflation when it happens means when the demand the goods and services is more than its supply, more than its supply. And next more, more severe problem is deficit BOP. Here deficit BOP means imbalance between the export and imports. That imbalance is how it is more, there is a high rate of imports, the less exports. The value of imports is more compared to the value of exports. These are the two severe problems as facing the country in 1980 to 1990. To solve this, particularly these two main problems, the government adapted stabilization program. That's why stabilization program is the programs which helps to bring the stability in the economy. The programs which helps to here stabilization programs, stabilization programs are the programs which helps to helps to bring the bring the stability stability in a In the economy, in the economy, and almost all the stabilization programs, this I mean the stabilization programs, this programs, programs, other macro, macroeconomic measures. Which, which affects to the, which affects to the whole, whole means complete, your macro in the sense is nothing but it applies to the entire country, not any one particular individual or any one particular institution. Whatever the program 
your foreign sector reforms means before the new economic policy we were putting some restrictions on imports of other goods and services then they used to put some restrictions when we export the goods to our other countries that's why we have reduced the all quantitative and qualitative restrictions on exports and imports then 